Hi, kids. Hi. I know. All right. Okay, now we're recording. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. Um, we're going to move some things around still. We're not quite settled here. I just sat down. Oh, oh, that was so cute. I hope you got to see uh, Greg just slide himself out of that pod. Okay, hang on, everybody. I want you all here. But I think I'm sitting on the cable I need. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Okay. Let's bring this all the way around here, maybe. We don't need all that food in the shot, though. Awkward. Okay, I'm going to have to figure this out because I didn't I didn't really think about the angles in advance. Uh, and all my stuff's over there and all the kittens are right here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so let me take a look. Let's make sure that the sound is working and then let's make sure that I can see some things and then... We can adjust from there. Okay, a little work to do. Uh, oh, okay. Wow, kittens all falling, slipping, sliding everywhere. Okay. Hi, kids. Okay, that's kind of fun, but... I think this is zoomed in. Let's zoom it out. There we go. Boy, that's uh, kind of... A mess there, though, isn't it? Okay. All right, we're going to get this sorted together. Guys, we're going to figure this out. We got this. We can do this. I can have a mailbag with all these kittens. But I do have to get up still and get some things together. That looks like an okay enough angle, but that food, not pleasant to see. I think I'm going to have to move that off to the side when I get up. So, give me one sec here. The food is sort of deliberately messy, I should say. I didn't check to see if you guys can hear me. I might be talking to myself. I hope I'm not. But uh, the food is a little bit deliberately messy because right now we want the kittens to sort of walk in it and, uh, hi, 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 and, uh, you know, uh, clean it off of themselves and use that as a way to sort of learn about uh, eating. So, all part of the plan, even though it doesn't necessarily look great, does it? Um, but that's fine. Hopefully it won't be for very long. Oh, okay. So how do I move this out of the way, though? There we go. Let's do that real quick. Good enough. And then I want to move this back. Hi, kids. Now you're all on the wrong side. Oh, figuring out the whole room, huh? Okay, let's put this right where that was. All right, good. And let's do a kitten count now. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I can sit down if I'm quick. Okay. Kind of face towards you guys. Okay. Excellent start. Okay. Now, double check this stuff. Oh, of course, I didn't get the box. I'm going to have to open these letters with my fingers. And uh, I didn't do the addresses, and it's a mess. All right, we'll get it. We'll get this together. I think that works well enough for the moment. Good. Good enough. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, tiny kittens. Okay, uh, let's check Discord. Make sure that everybody's listening to me. Maybe not listening, but you have the option. <laughs> yeah, I think that... Nobody said that you can or can't hear me, actually. I'm assuming you can. I'm scrolling back. Scrolling back. Uh... All right. Mike, good. Okay, thank you so much. And I, and I see it. Uh, thanks, Stockholm Ed. All right. Uh, good. Well, in that case, let's start with our letters. Uh, let's start with our news, like we usually do, actually. What, what do news do we have this week? You want to speak into the mic? You tell them. Is that it? Uh, I don't think there's that much news this week, actually. I can't think of anything super noteworthy that's happened actually this week. Um, yeah, just, I mean, nothing Kitten Academy related, of course. I'm once again behind schedule. Uh, we had our dishwasher die, and it's going to be a week before the new one arrives. 
Uh, so we're going to be doing a lot of extra dishwashing for the kids. Uh, but these things happen. I was pretty proud of myself for troubleshooting it and figuring out exactly where the problem was, but then once I started looking online for the parts I would need to get the dishwasher running, I realized it's actually more cost effective to just get a new one. Um, even though our old one was pretty nice, it's not that nice and they don't make the parts anymore so they cost more I guess. Just, uh, just kind of a bother. Uh, but uh, I'm still proud of myself for having figured it out at any rate. Hey buddy, hi, come on up here. Come on up here mailbag kittens. I know you guys are all so very attentive. Ah, you've got a very dirty face, little girl. Okay. Well, let's start right in with a letter. Here. Trying not to flash the address. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay, cool. Uh, the, this, the, um, the stamps on this are close-up of moths. Real close. Uh, in fact, the first one said moth antenna. And I was wondering to myself, like, what is a moth antenna? Like, what... Is that a particular place where there's like a, like a, I'm picturing like an observatory, like a radio observatory or something? No, it means a moth, like an actual moth. Uh, oh, this card's so pretty. I've completely wrecked the, uh, the envelope, but that's okay. Uh, the card is a vase with flowers. They're made out of actual fabric and strings, and uh, there's even a little bit that's technically sort of uh, stitched through the card, it looks like. It's really pretty. And it's a, it's a vase with flowers, as you can see. And it says, thank you very much. Inside it says, dear Dr. DJ and Mr. A, I am beyond thrilled to learn that Teaspoon will have a permanent home with you at Kitten Academy. Very cute the way you announced it on YouTube. I and many others know that it is the best place on the planet for him to be. Uh, you have given us all a happier holiday. Sincerely, Becky. W, Becky W, thank you so much. That's a really cute card. Yeah, um, I, I thought um, DJ's, I, it was DJ's idea to do the announcement, the silly announcement ways. Um, and uh, I like them. I thought it was fun. Um, and uh, I'm also glad that Teaspoon is going to be sticking with us. I'm really excited to see how his surgery is going to go, uh, which I guess we're doing, um, I, I think that, buddy, Come back over here. Little um, Julian is squeezing himself back next to the beanbag chair. All right, he's actually squeezed back in there somehow. And he's meowing like he wants some attention, but surely he knows where we are. Hi. Oh, now he's sticking his head back out. He does know exactly where we are. Uh, thank you so much for writing that, though. And the card's super adorable. And uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I guess I don't have anything clever I can think of to say about Teaspoon right now. Uh, my brain has not yet started this morning. Uh, it was a long day yesterday. And that's what I'm going to blame it on. These kids, by the way, are learning to use the litter box. I've been sort of trying to teach them by putting them over there and getting them to try to use it, but there's still going to be a lot of messes while we sort it out, especially little Monday here. And he's got that poop that is uh, sort of characteristic of this age and the food that we are giving them where it's yellow and it stains everything so you're probably going to see a little bit of that too because it's impossible to get off i washed him under the sink and i couldn't get it all off and uh, his mom had some on her face and it took me forever and she was really annoyed at me trying to get that off for her so uh, there's going to be a lot of messes we're at the very messy stage oh friday's actually going over to the litter box i don't know if he knows what he's going to do over there though let's uh well, let's keep rolling here. If I see him starting to look like he's going to squat, I'll jump up and move him to the right spot. But I, he might just be exploring. So here is another card that has a Canadian bl Blue Jay on it. Uh, and on the back, it's sealed with snowman, a snowman, a snow-covered house, and a wreath. I'm sorry. Hi, little girl. This is the girl, Holly. Oh, I thought of something that I wanted to share with you guys that was interesting, but we'll get to that. Uh, let's see. This says, Merry Christmas 2023. Aw, from Muggins and Teeny Tiny. Whoa, those are some cute photos of Muggins and Teeny Tiny, and those are great names. I love Muggins uh, for a name. So here we go. Merry Christmas. This is a cool uh, everything. The font, the printing, and the pictures of Muggins. Oh, here. Maybe I can show it better over here. I don't know. 
exactly where that's pointing or focused, but we can try it that way. How about that? Oh, speaking of uh, which cameras are working, Julian. <laughs> hi, buddy. All right, you say hi to everybody in there? That's good. Yeah, you'll be doing mailbag all by yourself before long. Mm -hmm. You're very cute, too. All right, uh, let's see what's next. I think there's one more letter. Oh, yeah, uh, I noticed this one right away because it's got this beautiful uh, silver and gold ink on it. And then uh, I was even more excited because it is from Cindy in France, a longtime correspondent. Um, it's on the front. We've got these beautiful row of Christmas uh, village houses, uh, little brown stones all nestled together, I guess, uh, more, maybe more like storefronts. Uh, and they're all decked out. And there's also a lot of glitter. And one of the houses has a big bow on it and is standing out in three dimensions. And it says a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Here we go. And then on the inside, oh, oh, wow. It says, Kitten Academy, how are you? I'm fine. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year 2024. Uh, Nala, is that right? Uh, I forget the, the name. It's been a while since you wrote. Uh, I remember, um, let's see. Paula? Hmm. No, Nala, that's got to be right. Uh, five months old, I see, because we haven't, we haven't heard too much from you in the last five months, so that makes sense. Doing well. Uh, she will be five months old. Hatchie and Grisette are doing well. I'm sure I mispronounced those, but those are the names I know. It's more or less cold here. Yeah, here too. Uh, Callie, good job on the birth of your babies. She's busy eating. I don't think she's even listening. Uh, okay. Goodbye, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Oh, it does say Nala. Good, I had it right. Um... Uh, th thank you very much, Hatchy Grisette, Nala. Um, and here's Nala trying to carry a giant stick through a doorway, like a like a parody, like a almost like a joke, where uh, the dog can't fit the stick through the door. But in real life, there we go. Oh, there you go. Show it over there, maybe. Uh, you know, whatever. This is fine. I think. I hope. That's a great photo. <laughs> Uh, and that looks like the outdoors with snow, I guess, is what I'm seeing there. A lot of snow. We don't get very much snow here in Connecticut, at least not in this part of Connecticut. Probably in the northern more parts we do. Um, but, uh, yeah, I haven't seen snow uh, like we've had in the Midwest since we've been here, I don't think. Um, which is nice in a way. It's, you know, it's a lot more uh, temperate here. Um, but also I kind of miss the, the deep snow and the... Um, I don't know. I don't have to drive in it, so I can miss it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, hi, Greg. You're so. He, Greg just looks right into my eyes, and then he meows at me. I don't know what he wants. He probably wants more milk. But I'm trying to wean them, which is why I haven't given them any milk the last day or two. Uh, I'm, I'm even though they'll probably lose a little bit of weight or won't gain the way that they should, since mom's also trying to wean them. Um, it, it might be kind of important for them to be a little extra hungry right now. That's uh, and going to encourage them to eat the food rather than uh, go for the milk. So uh, it's time for them to learn that lesson well. And they have all been eating uh, to a certain degree. Not so much self-starting, but uh, they've definitely all tried the food. And, and once I get them started, they, they eat it. Um, somebody did start themselves yesterday. I think it was a little January here. Also, I'm speaking of self-starting, I'm noticing, <laughs> I'm noticing the girl Holly in the litter box. I thought she was going to use it, but no, she's just chewing on the side of it now, and climbing out. Uh, thank you for the card, Cindy. It's really nice to hear from you, and uh, that you're doing well. Okay, now we have packages, and we're just going to go right for it. I left the box over there again, so let's see how much of this I can get through without uh, a knife, because I don't want to have to get up, especially not while these kids are climbing all over me, but. If history is any indicator, it will only be a couple minutes before they end up going back to their pod or their mom to settle down, being exhausted with mailbag. So we'll see how much energy they have. Wow, I'm really tearing through this thing. Wow, hulking out here on the stream. Whew, I don't have any idea what this could be. Interesting. 
It says, "Oh, we've called Teaspoon Baby Brelfic. Um, Brelfic? Hmm, that's since he was born and had that little alien face. It reminded us of Reeklings on Skyrim who say Brelfic, meaning brother in their language. Oh, thank you for giving these cats a home. Love from Chris and Courtney. Well, I played a ton of Skyrim, but I, I just I've never been uh, really." I, I when I played Morrowind uh, back in the day, um, I got a little bit into some of the lore and the the you know places that were in that a little. I, not that I can name much of it now, uh, but since Morrowind, I don't think I've really been able to to um, get into the lore quite so much. Although those those words did seem familiar to me, I guess that's the most I can say. And William Skyrim, uh, I just saw that they're selling like an anniversary DLC update to it, which I'm sure is just improved graphics or whatever. But anniversary, is it 10 years old already? Is it really? Because that's crazy. Um, I've played it several times. It's a great game. Uh, I, I enjoy all of those Bethesda games, even though nowadays they're starting to seem very dated, not just because Skyrim is old. Uh, even uh, Starfield, which I, I really enjoyed, but it is not a modern sort of design of a game by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, I felt that a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't even know if I could go as far as to like call it a, a good game, um, but I had fun with it, so that's what counts. Um, so let's see, you said a bunch about Teaspoon, and um, let's see. Re I remember say Brelfic, meaning brother. There we go, but... I don't know what you sent here. I guess it must be something related to Teaspoon. Oh, oh, it is Little Spoons. It's a little, oh, it's a little spoon with an orange kitty on it. Oh, wow. So uh, this is cute. DJ, uh, all right, this is going to be, oh, and this one's a calico. I love calicos. It's lovely. They're both lovely. So these are obviously little um, either sugar spoons or teaspoons that have the little kittens have like a hook here where they're sitting on the edge of something so you can hook them over the edge of your uh, coffee cup. Um, and that's adorable. And DJ has um, uh, some tea cups that she likes to use very much that are the plastic ones. I know I've mentioned this before. She's got a nice collection of them. She doesn't need any more. But um, when I do the dishes, I put them all on a particular shelf in the cabinet that is just for her uh, tea mugs, I guess. So they're easy for her to find. And uh, a long time ago, somebody sent this little tiny white cat, um, little white plastic cat in mailbag. And I, I didn't, I just had it around for some reason. So I put it in that, that particular shelf in that particular cabinet next to all of her coffee mugs so she would see it. Uh, tea when she went to go get one. Um, and then recently I took um, that cat that was the tea infuser that just came recently and I put that in one of the mugs in there and so that when she would open the cabinet she would see it looking at her and now she mentioned it to me. It's, it's sort of a thing now. Uh, so I'm going to put these in there in, in the cup uh, probably flanking the uh, tea infuser and she'll open the cabinet and see them and it will be super cute for her. But even without that, uh, these are adorable. I mean, completely adorable. So uh, they're, they're nice ceramic spoons too, uh, like super collectible, I would say. Really cute. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Brelfic, <laughs> my brother. Uh, Chris and Courtney, much appreciated. Okay. Oh, I think I left out a letter. Look at that. Let's try this one. Hi, you guys. I'm surprised you're all still over here playing with me. And so attentive. You guys are big on paying attention to me. I like that. Okay. I know, uh, well, let's see. Let's look at this first. <laughs> this is great. Happy holidays from Jenny, Simon, River, and Cobb. So cute. Oh, with their paw prints on the back. That's very nice. Uh, Simon River and Cobb and their pictures on the front um, there we go and there's also uh, the note in here for us uh, I don't know where I'm showing the, anything to you guys oh look at that. you can see both sides at once how convenient okay hi pal you want to climb right up here and talk into the microphone or block it so nobody can hear either of us okay the note clearly labeled 
And it says, Dear Mr. A. Uh, dear, I'm sorry, it says Dr. D. I was reading it upside down. I, I made some stuff up there. It actually says, Dr. DJ, Mr. A, faculty, mom, cats, and students, thank you for another wonderful year of kittens. The hard work and love you pour into the moms and tinies is evident to all who watch. Being able to watch the kittens grow up and the mom cats blossom is a joy for us all. Uh, we look forward to seeing Teaspoon earn his professorship and full tenure as the newest member of the KA faculty. Lecturer Teaspoon has shown us that even when life throws challenges at you with the love and care of those around you, you can still grow and thrive. Happiest of holidays and cheers to a wonderful 2023. May the new year bring as much joy as the old one. Uh, from Jenny, a.k.a. Human to Cats, Simon River, and Cobb. Great cat names. Um, great uh, Firefly cat names. So, uh, yeah, thank you again about Teaspoon. Um, I, it's really special. He's, uh, he's just a, a little sweetheart, really. He's... Hi, 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 hi. He's a pretty independent kitten when it comes down to it. Um, but uh, I really like it when he comes to me for attention. Lately, he's been doing that when I'm in my office working. He'll come to the door and meow to be let in, and then he wants to be sort of held and petted and played with. Uh, but after a while, he kind of wants to go do his own thing again, which is nice, I think. That's a real nice thing to have. Speaking of, we're still trying to get um, uh, Drizzle and Sprout adopted, and uh, they're very much that way too, where they, where they both love to have attention, and then they go and love to do their own thing. Uh, lots of fun. Drizzle is a uh, excellent at playing fetch, and Sprout is one of the sweetest kittens ever. Like just friendly with everybody else. She meets a new cat, she immediately wants to rub up on them. She met uh, Calendar here the other day, and just um, just immediately goes right up. Like, oh, we're best friends. I just met you, but we're best friends, and we'll rub right on her face. And uh, she's been that way with everybody, actually. Sprout's really sweet that way. Okay, she just wants to meet new kittens. All right, uh, let's keep rolling. Oh boy, I always have trouble getting these to open up a tear. Oh, well that one works, see? All right, oh well, this looks like it might be something also related to. On stream, dear Kitten Academy, here's some toys and blanket uh, shipping later for Teaspoon and your coffee, I see. We've loved seeing Teaspoon grow and play and love now that he's now adopted forever by you. Continued on next note from Chris and Courtney. Aha. So we've got a, a series of uh, gifts and uh, uh, notes from you guys. But I don't know exactly what order we'll get to them in. I feel like this must have been the first one, and this is super cute. Um, we've got one of these sets that I think we threw some out for him, and he played with it a little bit, but he's more into balls, where this is the kind of thing I picture uh, Drizzle like playing fetch with. It's got the cute little string on it and a little extra bit here. But regardless of who plays with it, it's fun, and it's filled with catnip, and there's three of them. Just adorable little toys. Uh, thank you for that for Teaspoon. All right, Kitten Academy mailbag. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Ah, there we go, got it. Ooh. Hey, Starlight Mints. Oh, and it says Starlight Mints. We were just talking about these, weren't we? And DJ was like, what are Starlight Mints? Now, she ramble on on mints from Cher Blessed Bear. Thank you, Cher Blessed Bear. Uh, DJ's not a big fan of mint in general, um, although... Uh, there's some, you know, Indian dishes that have mint in it that are not the same without it that she loves, like her biryani, uh, that is the South Indian style biryani, uh, has mint in it, I believe, or at least some of the ones that we've made do, and uh, she really likes that, but not so much in candies. I, on the other hand, uh, I won't mince words about it. <laughs> I don't know, that was a stretch. What am I even doing? I do like it. So thank you so much for the little Starlight Mints. And uh, now I can show this package to DJ where it clearly says Starlight Mints. I mean, they kind of put the sticker over it, but you can still see the word Starlight, so that counts. And, uh, and then she'll be a, a little bit more like, oh, now I get it. Uh, she's, she's here today, but uh, not joining us for Mailbag because she's working on one of her little uh, models. She's been building, uh, I, I mean, I, you call them models, I guess. They're like, you know... Uh, little dioramas, uh, they're mostly, like she did one that was a really pretty house, 
Uh, she did one that was a fruit market, and now she's working on one that's like a bookstore, I think. Um, and it's all like really detailed, mostly paper work um, that's, that's really cool. And she's just now wrapping up the last one. Like she's going to finish it, I think, today or this morning even. So uh, that's why she's not on the um, mailbag. Professor T, oh, another one, uh, also from Cher Blessed Bear, who sent the Starlight Mints. Professor T, you look so adorbs in your collar. No blue eyes, but blue collar should look good too with your beautiful orange coat. This says upgraded, and it's got an orange kitty on it. So let's see how we have upgraded our boy. Hi, what are you doing? Do you hear something? Uh, oh, oh, this is cool. It's a plaid that's brown and blue. That's going to look really nice on him. Uh, hi, are you lost, Greggy? Do you need me to help you poop or something? Boy, you've got a poopy butt. All of you guys have poopy butts. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll have to help you with that at some point, I think. Uh, hi, hi, hi. Uh, thank you so much, Share Blessed Bear. I think Teaspoon will look uh, really cute in this. Let's see how small it can become. It's all it, wait the biggest size right now. But I think he's going to be more the smallest size. Um, yeah, uh, actually, uh, someone uh, else mentioned that, he, you know, how much he's grown, but he, he's actually uh, like a s clinically small kitty. Uh, I think that that's probably because of his condition. He's just not growing at the same uh, rate that other kittens do. And that's fine. You know, he's cute. Uh, I, I'm not bothered by it. Um, I, he's, uh, he's also like super dense, like he's like he's heavy, like like all instead of growing out into a kitten size, he's still doing all the same growing, but in the same, I mean, he's not, but that's how it feels, because he's just so dense. Yeah, that's the word I would want. Hi, right. so far, this mailbag, I think, has been almost entirely teaspoon. Hi, buddy, do you want to say something? Really? Okay, do you want me to get you your own microphone? It sounded like, no. No, I just want to yell into yours. What is it, pal? If I'm going to help you poop, I want you to go over to the litter box for it so you start to learn that lesson. Okay, well, maybe when we get up, we'll take a little break over there, okay? There's not a ton of mailbag today. Anyway, it's perfect for doing in this room. If, if there'd been more, I wouldn't have, have done it with these kittens, but it's just the right amount. Oh, this is familiar. Hang on. This is, uh, we got one of these last week. We got two of these last week. And this says, teaspoon or serenity, there's one for each. Aw, there we go. Hi. Hi. What is it, Monday? What is it, buddy? You sound like you've got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> I just, these kittens are all so, oh, demanding. Wow, buddy. <laughs> and Zoomy, they're starting to get really good at getting around, huh? So thank you so much. These are great, and uh, they, they are perfect for, um, uh, as DJ was saying last week, I think it was last week, uh, they're perfect for endowments for people to have, uh, to sort of keep memories of their kittens when they adopt them. Uh, I think it's adorable. Hi, hi. Oh, you're being very bitey now. Look at you, all dirty little kittens. Your mom's done a great job of taking care of you, but there's only so much she can keep up with, and you guys, the six of you, are definitely starting to overwhelm her a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't say she's frazzled yet, but uh, it won't be long before frazzled is going to be the right word. Okay, the last thing within reach here. Oh, attention, Millet and Sydney. All right. Oh, thank you, Millet and Sydney. Uh -huh. Uh, enjoy your gift. Use as you please from Millet and Sydney. Ah. It is three uh, emoji pineapples. Squeeze me, okay. Oh, it says they're for small dogs, but I bet the kittens are gonna get a real kick out of this too. So one of them just has a little shy smile. One of them is wearing heart glasses and the last one has a giant mustache on it. <laughs> Those are really cute. Uh, and the brand name, Tropic Like It's Hot. Okay, I see what you did there. Uh, I don't know which room is going to get the theme, but uh, I have been kind of putting all the tropical stuff in the um, Serenity's room so far, and I was pleased to see the, uh, yesterday that she was sleeping in the, the banana bed. 
because uh, I don't think I've seen anybody really go for that particular bed yet, but she seems to like it, which is nice. Speaking of kittens that need adopters and are wonderful, I do think Serenity is probably more of like a one kitten home. Uh, not that she can't live with others, she can. She's not a trouble starter, but uh, she's a little high strung and likes to hiss a lot. Okay, I, I know you guys are making this mailbag very fun. All right, you're also making my eyes extra itchy. Kittens uh, always get my allergies going a little bit more than adult cats. Oh, okay. Let's see, what can we grab from over here besides our little box and maybe the rest of the boxes? Is there room for all this over there at once? All right, look out, kittens. So I'm gonna set this right over here, I guess. Try to squeeze it in where I can reach it. Okay, good, good, good. Monday, where did Monday go now? Now that I'm ready to try you in the litter box, pal. All right, uh, I really don't see him. Is he hidden all the way back there with you? <laughs> Did he get away from me? There's no kittens under this stuff, I know that. Um, <laughs> oh. Oh, wow, he was all the way back here. Okay, behind the air purifier. That's why I did not see him. Buddy, do you want to try this here? Sometimes if I just sort of move their paws to get them to dig in the litter, that's enough to start them going. Not today, though. All right, we tried. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I got to start counting kittens before I sit down because these kids run around. You never know where they're going to be next. Oh, this is from GA Girl. It says right on the outside. And what could it be? Feels like a banana. Ooh, it looks like a banana. All right. It says a special banana for special mom cat Callie. Aw, please put it with her endowment. This is the 20th banana I've sent from GA Girl. Thank you so much. Uh, that is sweet of you to be sending the bananas for the mom cats, and I know she's going to love that. She's got one out in the room right now, but as you say, this will be perfect for her endowments. And it's a good thing I just got the box out because I can label it, which is going to be important if I'm going to get it to the right place later. Okay. So, for Callie. You, you did say for Callie, right? I just don't... Yes, good. Okay, that's what I had. Hi, kids. What are you... I'm, I'm surprised that these kittens are so still out here participating. They have a lot of energy for kittens this age. Normally, I think the kittens would be, um, you know, like going back to bed by now. But these guys are all still running around and meowing at me. I'm, I'm taking that as a fun, good sign. Of some healthy little babies, probably hungry little babies too. I know. Here, let's try this. I can reach the wipes behind me, so this is okay to do with my hand. Here, let's get one of you to start eating. And that way, there you go. Oh, wow, you didn't even need me to start you. I just needed to mix it up. Nice. Um, a lot of times at this age, they haven't quite figured out how the bowls work, which is why I like to make it stand up so much. So they can just sort of reach over and get it. But uh, yeah, there we go. Good job, January. I know, Greg. I'll help you get some too. I'll, I'll help you get some too, but there's only room for one. Oh, he just licked my nose. <laughs> Such a cutie bean. Oh, do you want some of that? Okay, there you go. Try that on for size. Oh, hey, here, here, Greg. Maybe there's room for two at this bowl now. Hang on. So another thing I do, if they don't just get right into it like she did, I'll put a little bit of food in their mouth. Oh, oh, you got me with your sharp teeth. 
And that usually gets them to go like, whoa, where did that come from? It didn't come from his ear. It came from right here, buddy. There you go. Oh, no. Down here. Down. Look down here. I know. You're always looking up. And that's cute. That's a nice positive attitude. But try. There you go. Try down there. Good. Look at that. That's what they want. I know that's what they're yelling at me about. Okay. Hi. I know. Well, we'll get to all of you guys, all right? If I, one thing that is a little frustrating is that mom is also at that point where she wants to, and when the food is over here, she wants to eat it all before the kittens can get to it, which has made it a little challenging to give them a chance. Uh, see, now that she sees them eating, she's going to come over here and try to eat it herself. And she tends to kind of push them out of the way, which is not good for them learning the lesson of uh, eating, but it's uh, some sort of instinct that, that mom, some mom cats have. It's been uh, sort of common lately. Oh, hey, this is funny. <laughs> All right. You guys don't have to send me everything that I mentioned, but this is a, uh, a kid-powered classic. This is so cute. This is just like the little duck that I was talking about. I think it was just last week. Wow, that was quick. Um, where you can push it around. It's got little rubber feet that make a weird little flapping noise as you push it around on the floor. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if the kittens are attracted to it as well. Uh, yeah, I was mentioning last week that a, a childhood friend of mine had one of them at his house, and when I would go there like to hang out or for sleepovers, I always wanted to, to play with it. And I wasn't a little kid at that point. Like, I, you know, we weren't even friends until, uh, when did I meet him? Probably six, sixth or seventh grade, which would have put me, you know, 13, 12, 13 years old probably, in that neighborhood anyway. That sounds about right. So it's not like I was a little kid that that's targeted at, but I still was just, I just thought it was the cool, because it makes such a satisfying noise as you're pushing it along and its little feet are slapping. Uh, it's just silly, that's all. Hi, okay, who else wants to try? Did you try yet? You didn't try yet, did you? Here, does this help you? Oh, whoa, 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 take a dive there. Here, oh, 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 put it in, there you go. Oh, you want some more of that? It's right there, it's right there, don't yell at me, it's right there. There you go, you found it. Good work. Well, thank you. Uh, let's see, who did this come from? Is there a note? There is a note. It says, oh, uh, dear Mr. A, I love your rambles. I hope this makes you feel like a kid again from Ramble Fan. Aw, well, thank you, Ramble Fan. Uh, I'm sure it will, actually. I'm excited to get it out and put it together. I wonder if I'll have to put a longer stick on it, uh, probably, because... So I'm a little taller, just a little taller than I was when I was 13 or 12 or whatever it was. Uh, but that should be fun. I also wonder if the kittens are going to like it uh, as I push it around and it makes all that noise. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Um, <laughs> Greg, what are you looking at, buddy? Oh, you pushed a whole big piece of this out. Oh, oh, chomp. Don't move me. Don't move me, bro. I'm eating here. Hey, I'm eating over here. Okay, Monday. You keep eating, pal. I'm just trying to help because you're making a mess, too. Hi, Greg. Hi, buddy. Hi. Oh, so many meows still. Hi. Oh, man, you make such good eye contact. Mm. Okay. Gregarious. That's the word I'm looking for. Ooh, cookies. Ooh, chocolate. All right. Cookies and chocolate. Ooh, and coffee. I can smell. I didn't see it at first. I thought that was packing material, but it hit my nose for sure. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, here we've got a lovely... Um, it looks like colored... No, it's got to be acrylic, actually. Uh, it's a painting of a cat, an anthropomorphic cat lady who's wearing uh, some like some Victorian era hat and dress and standing in front of a floral pattern. Uh, or maybe those are actual flowers or plants because the leaves are all falling on the ground around her too. Really pretty. And inside it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, Happy New Year. Wishing you all the best in 2024. Thank you for all you do. Uh, Chris Tina, who is Gilly Girl, I think Gilly, or maybe it's Jilly, on Discord. Uh, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, here are a few things to thank you for all the work 
and joy you bring to so many people. I was just looking at Greg, looking at this, and I thought, maybe I can make this something he can eat while I'm reading your letter. Here, buddy, try that. Try this. Here. I know, I know. Here. Okay. Here. You'll, oh, chomp. I don't need to put it in your mouth. You'll eat it off my fingers, I know. But look down here. There's more. So much more. There you go. Go right to the source, buddy. Hi, Jan. What are you yelling at me for? Oh, my goodness. How did you get up there? He's sitting on top of the unicorn bed. Little um, Julian is. Do you see him? Can, I hope you can see him from one of the cameras. I guess you can see him from this ceiling camera, if nothing else. Wow, such little bold kittens everywhere. All right, uh, here are a few things to thank you for all the work and joy you bring to so many people. The coffee is from my local coffee shop in Hoboken, uh, New Jersey. The Hoboken blend, Hoboken? Uh, as they call it, slightly sweet and full of character, just like you. Aw, that's adorable. Wow, a Discover Empire coffee and tea. It smells great. I mean, that smells like some really good coffee there. Um, my mom, sisters, and I tune in and watch the excitement unfold at the Academy. And thanks to chat, oh, thanks to chat GPT for putting the words into a Dr. Seuss poem on how much we are grateful for the work you do. Oh, this sounds interesting. Uh, in the realm of whiskers where tales unfold, a haven for felines, a story to be told. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, guardians so true, in Kitten Academy, where dreams come through. Pregnant mom cats with futures unsure find solace and care, their hardships to endure. Mr. A, a maestro with compassion as his song, ooh, very flowery, guiding them gently where they belong. Dr. DJ, with healing hands and grace, ensures each kitten finds a loving embrace in the warmth of their haven, a sanctuary so grand, a symphony of purrs echoing through the land. Through the lens of the live stream, a window to delight, a global family gathers in the soft glow of night from every corner of the world they convene, bound by love for felines, their hearts serene. Oh! Pregnant bellies and tiny paws in this sacred place. A love knows no flaws. Adoptions bloom like flowers in spring. A testament to the magic your compassion brings. For the mom, cats, and kittens, their journeys end with families found and hearts on the mend. In gratitude we celebrate with joy so pure. For Mr. A and Dr. DJ forevermore. <laughs> All right, good job, good job. That last one, a bit of a stretch, but uh, you know, that's not bad for a robot. Uh, I've been so impressed with what ChatGPT is capable of, and uh, not to go into a completely off topic ramble, I've been even more impressed now with the models that are small enough to run on a you know, beefy graphics card at home. Um, I've, I've said it uh, somewhere that I just, you know, it's like a childhood dream in a way to have you know my computer almost it's at least as smart as the computer that was the starship enterprise uh you know computer if not smarter than that uh, i would say probably smarter than that the enterprise did some really dumb stuff sometimes <laughs> uh also a uh, voice the voice of the enterprise computer i don't know if you knew this dj was the one that told me this and when she said it i'm like oh, i hear it now and i'll never unhear it uh, the voice of the Next Generation's Enterprise computer is the same lady who plays uh, Troy's mom, Waxana Troy, I guess is her name. Um, and that's, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> Hi. Okay, Greggy. I know, pal. There you go. These kids would much rather have me feed them every little bite of food than have to go to the bowl, but they're going to figure this out. Uh, thank you for the wonderful poem. I'm sorry, you signed it. Christina and all the Gilly Girls. Gilly Girls? Eh, we're going to go with either one. They're both good. It's hard to tell. Is, do you say GIF or do you say JIF? Because I think that's what would tell us. It's probably either Gilly Girls or Gilly gir Girls. Yeah, that would be it. Gilly Girls, right? I got it. I got it. That's it. Gilly Girls. Okay. <laughs> What are you talking about now, Monday? Okay. Uh, such participation. Now they're starting to get tired and go back to their rooms. Okay. So not only did you send the coffee, you sent a wonderful poem, and you sent 
Biscoff sandwich cookies filled with Biscoff cream. These are like Oreos, except way better. Um, and also what appear to be from bean to bar, our commitment to ultimate quality. Oh, Ghirardelli squares, their premium assortment. Uh, these are chocolates and chocolates with caramels in them. Very yummy. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to have uh, way too much fun with all that. I'm going to have to work out twice as hard. But it's worth it. Okay, slide that a little bit out of the way. Thank you guys all for making my Christmas uh, wonderful. Really wonderful. DJ and I, despite the fact that it's her favorite holiday, don't really celebrate. Uh, you know, we don't usually get each other anything for Christmas. Uh, DJ and I just, you know, whenever there's something that we see for each other, we just do it at that point. So there's never really anything saved for Christmas. Uh, we just give each other gifts whenever. She bought me some she bought me some skincare products that I've been using that I really have been in, enjoying and uh, it's inspired me. I've never really done anything like more fancy than uh, uh, suave brand aloe lotion, you know, like the stuff that you buy at the grocery store for $5 for a giant industrial sized tub. That's been my go-to in my whole life, actually, the suave brand aloe lotion. It's good stuff. Um, but uh, DJ got me some really nice stuff for uh, face uh, care in particular, and uh, it's so nice to it's you know it smells good and it feels good and it looks good. Um, uh, yeah, um, and it's I was looking up the particular stuff that she bought me, which I'm uh, hesitant to name now that I looked it up last night to see what was in it. I wanted to read the ingredients. And uh, instead, I found how much it cost, and it was, like, astronomical. I would never have bought it for myself. But as I was saying, it inspired me to, to start, uh, I don't know, why am I talking about this? Uh, inspired me to start, um, oh, because DJ bought it for me as a gift, yeah, to, to find some other stuff that I like that maybe, maybe it's a little more reasonably priced, but also fun for better skin care. So I've been doing a little bit of that, and it's fun. Uh, okay. This says, enjoy your gift to Mr. A and Dr. DJ from Jody Lynn and my two mom cats and three kittens. Wow, two mom cats and three kittens. That's great. I mean, I hope you're fostering. That's great. Ooh, uh, 100 North. Looks like a fancy thing. Uh, okay, I thought I could open this without taking the tape off completely, but... What are you looking for there, Jan? You looking for some more food? You looking for some more attention? Let's see, this is all in styrofoam. <gasps> oh, this is cute. This is like cartoon cat mugs. Um, actually, really cartoony. <laughs> they're so cute. They, they're matching, and they both look a lot like Teaspoon with a little blue collar on. We've got little orange boys with their stripey stripes and their funny face. And uh, like I said, um, little blue collars at the bottom. That's a really cute design I don't think I have seen before. And uh, DJ and I can match with our mugs now. Okay, now kiss. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to put them in, back in here for now so I don't, like, drop them down the stairs or something on the way to the kitchen. But uh, those are super cute. Thank you. There we go. So, uh, Jody Lynn and your two mom cats and three kittens. That's great. Mm -hmm. oh, these kids have so much to say. Oh, look at that. You're settling in over here. Is it just because I'm sitting over here? That's very sweet. But, you know, your mom's open for business right now. And the only one who knows it is Friday. Actually, Friday might be the only one who didn't try any of the food while we were sitting here. Is that right? That sounds right. Oh, I don't think you did either, did you? You're itching your ear some more. You don't want it? Here, let's give you a little starter then. What do you think now? Oh, it spits it out. Some kittens are just resistant. Oh, okay. Maybe it was just too much? You're going to lick it? And... Yeah, okay. You get it. you got to shake your head and make sure it's dead. 
thank you very much for those. Those are cute little mugs, and I know exactly where to put DJs. <laughs> okay. Next up. Uh, oh, this is the last box already. Ooh, that was a short one, but that's good, because you can see the, it's just exactly the right length for these kittens. Uh, oh, and this one, we know what's going to be in it already. You can tell by the Kleban. Uh, is that how he pronounces it? I don't know. Uh, the little cartoon cat stickers that are all over it. There you go. So we know this is going to be from Lisa, Beans, and Cheeto. And I think you can all guess what's inside, too. But first, a note. All right, you want to read it to everybody? January. Oh, <laughs> this is so cute. These are those... Uh, uh, Nathan Pyle cartoons of the aliens that are experiencing everything and uh, it's, uh, he's holding a cat and the alien is saying I found this it's vibrating <laughs> which is which is very cute um, okay uh, let's inside it says we must interact with it despite the risk of injury <laughs> Year Kitten Academy, another year and another batch of adorable kittens to watch as they grow. Enclosed, please find the usual kitten endowments for the timey wimeys. Also enclosed are some kitten treats that Cheeto and Beans have finally grown out of. Only took them four years to prefer adult kitty treats. Deploy as you see fit. Wishing you a fluffy and prosperous kitten filled 2024. From Lisa, Beans, and Cheeto. Well, thank you very much. Sounds like we got a little bonus besides the laser pointers. Oh, baby blue kitten crunchies. Oh, perfect. Well, I bet these kids will like it. That food that mom is eating right meow is, uh, I think, the blue uh, kitten food that we had. Some no, that was yesterday. Uh, she and the, and the kittens all went for it. So that's good stuff, I know. They'll probably like the treats too, but I don't think these guys are ready for kitten crunchies quite yet. They're gonna, they're gonna be ready for that probably in another week. Um, I don't know. They might go for them, but so far, just getting them to do the soft food has been enough of a challenge. Oh, Friday, here you're the one that hasn't tried the food while we're sitting here, right? And mom must have just abandoned you for treats and her own food. Oh. Okay, there you go. Meow, and I'll just stuff that right in there. You going to go for it now, buddy? Yeah? No? No. Uh, well, well, there's always one, isn't there? Boop. Oh, hi, Jan. Yes, you said that. You said that. Okay. Um, okay, let's take a look at these laser pointers. I love the way that you always put pictures of the little kittens on there, and I know uh, that when their adopters get these... It's so cute for them to see their baby photos because they're not so small by then. There we go. I still have some kitten food on my right hand, so I'm going to use my left as we look at these. Oh, all right. We have one. I don't know which direction to show these things. We have one for Calendar with her picture on it. It looks just like her. We have Julian right here, buddy. You going to pose for that? Okay. Well done. We have Monday. Oh, okay. Let's drop it in the food. Then it doesn't matter which hand I use. Uh, Gregorian. <laughs> Holiday. Oh, with a little blap. Probably licking her face. It's cute. January. Looking a little, I'm sorry. I said January. It's Friday. It's clearly Friday. And there's January. Perfection. Thank you so much for sending laser pointers for these kids. I know they're going to love them. They make great toys, uh, especially for people like me and DJ that, you know, are going to be sitting around playing with the kittens sometimes. Uh, I think that's a, that's a great way to do it. Oh, these two curled up in this bed together. It's uh, Monday and Greg, and they just like a little yin-yang of, uh, of kittens, one black and one orange, but they have the same similar markings, I should say. Very cute. Uh, that's mailbag, and since how I was going to show you them, but now it seems I woke them up. Not so perfectly posed anymore, you two. It's very cute, though. Okay, go back to sleep Monday. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, uh, Lisa Beans and Cheeto, for the treats and the lasers this time. Thanks to everybody else for everything else. 
I was going to say, um, I was thinking this morning about, um, I haven't, it's been a long time since I've said thank you also to, to Patreon specifically. I, I think I try to avoid it a little bit. It's not because I don't appreciate you guys, but because I don't want anybody to feel like, like that's expected or like I'm trying to drive people to our Patreon because I'm not. Um, but I am extremely grateful to everybody who has helped out uh, in that particular way. Uh, for so long now, and um, really seen us through a lot of stuff that way, and I, I do appreciate it. Thank you for that a lot. The other thing that I wanted to mention that that I was going to talk about, maybe I can talk about it for a second while I try to get this stuff sorted so we can go, um, was at the post office this morning, my, my favorite postal worker, uh, I, I'm pretty sure her name is Karen, but uh, there's so many people that work there, and like I was introduced to her, uh, she introduced herself to me like way back when we opened the post office box when we moved here, and I don't know that for sure that I've like gotten her name since. So I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Karen. Um, she's so consistently like nice and friendly, and I just love her. And she's the one that when I come in always knows who we are and calls me Chris, and uh, you know sometimes asks how we're doing, and just real personable um, of all the people that I would want. Uh, to this morning stop me and say, uh, ask about the kittens that we have. And then she followed up by asking like how you apply for the kittens. And I said, oh, you, you know, you can just go to our website, uh, kitten.academy and apply there. And I said, uh, you know, we don't, we don't process those ourselves because I'm really bad at saying no to people. And sometimes that's important to be able to do. So Dawes, uh, you know, checks those applications and decides. And I explained that they're a shelter in Danbury. This is good information for everybody, which is why I'm going into these silly details, but uh, I explained that to her. Also the fact that I said, you know, I know our application on the website is a little bit intense, but it's it's read by real human beings who understand, you know, um, if, if there's things that you can't or don't fill out or, you know, whatever. Um, and then... Uh, she said, oh, good. Well, I was asking because uh, my kids have been, and she was like, my adult kids uh, have been talking about adopting a kitten. And I said, well, you definitely know a guy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I said, if you, if maybe if you watch for a while, they watch for a while and see kittens that they really like, I would love to see them apply because she's, I don't know anything about her, you know, outside of the fact that she's uh, well employed at the post office for, you know, at least the last several years that we've been here um but uh but she strikes me as a person uh, and her surely her adult kids as well that would be really uh great adopters so i thought that would really made my morning um i should have thought at the moment to be like oh man you should check out drizzle and sprout they are fantastic <laughs> for your two adult kids uh, which is true i mean i laugh like i'm making a joke or something but they, they really would be good kittens um but uh, maybe not exactly what they're looking for. I don't know. That's entirely up to the adopters. I know um, there's just uh, the heart wants what the heart wants. Okay, now I'm going to get up and uh, clean off my fingers and put all the food back around. And uh, like I said, this is going to be messy. I just put this down. It's already messy, but that's how they learn to eat. So, oh, and their mom, Callie over there is playing with one of the mice. Uh, I know she likes to play, but I don't actually see it very often. She's got one of the little tiny rattle mice that are so popular that uh, people send us in those boxes of like, you know, 50 of them. Uh, it's good when kittens like the, the classics. And she is a kitten. Oh, okay, now I stand up and she's like, what are we doing? Let's go. She is so wonderful. She loves to go out of the room and she gets along with everybody. She's never hissed at anyone. And when they hiss at her, as several of them do, she doesn't take it personally, but she also doesn't get in their face then. She just keeps going, uh, which is perfect. I mean, she is just perfect at cat interaction so far. And hopefully she stays that way even uh, once it starts to get more challenging or once she starts to sort of uh, become more familiar. We'll see. Okay, uh, let's see. How am I going to do all this? This is stuff that needs to go for endowments. So let's put that in this box.
And then there's stuff that is going to go to the kitchen over there. And stuff that's not going to the kitchen or endowments. What do I do with that? Hmm. Uh, maybe I just take it out separately. Okay, that's kitchen stuff for sure. This is teaspoons for sure. These are treats. I'm going to put them right in here for the kittens as soon as they're ready. Excellent. All right, that's good thinking. I'm going to turn off my mic now so as I leave the room, I don't accidentally forget it and do anything embarrassing. I'll switch you guys to the regular mic. That should be it. I know I probably don't sound nearly as nice now. I'm still just as nice, though. Trust me on this. Mm, you think so, don't you, buddy? Oh, these, yeah, these got to go downstairs, too. Okay. I don't want them to break as we put them apart from each other. Good, so far, so good. And then how to get. Oh, oh wait, we missed one. Oh, we missed a tiny thing. Hang on, let's see. Oh, what's a little tiny pineapple? Okay, and there's nothing on the outside or the inside to indicate who sent the tiny pineapple, but I think it's perfect to put out here right now since we don't know. Wow, it looks like it's hand-stitched. Uh, well, part of it anyway. The stuff on the front's obviously by machine, but the back then is sewed up. And it's kind of green on the inside, so I assume that means catnip. And it is a perfect size for these tinies to get started. I've noticed uh, them actually starting to play with toys themselves now, which is a huge progress. Okay, now that we got that, now I can start putting this stuff right here. Ah, oh, there's another, there's another small one that we missed because it's so small. Wow, all right. Oh, this came from the same place. Well, kind of. Um, let's see. Oh. Aww. <laughs> it's a silver vine lobster uh, that has, it's basically a little lobster toy that has silver vine spine. That's easy for me to say, a silver vine spine. That's pretty cool. I don't know who's going to go for that or who it was sent for or who it was sent from. Um, I have a suspicion based on the fact that it doesn't say anything, but I'm not going to say who I suspect. Uh, whoever it is, let me know. This is actually really cute. I love the fact that it's got a silver vine stick in the middle of it because the kittens love, well, not the kittens, the mom cats tend to love silver vine. And that's a fun way to combine it and make one little toy out of it. That's really cute. If I hadn't just put that uh, pineapple down for these kids, I would put that down, but I think they're good for now. Wow, you're very sneezy still. When are you going to get over that sneeze, huh? These are going to go with the letters. Go down with the endowments. Nice, nice. We got that all categorized into just three boxes. That's gonna make things easier. Oh, teaspoons, collar, and this stuff. All right, we'll sort it out. It's nice to know that if she runs out the door, I don't have to worry about her encountering anybody that she's going to get in trouble with. She mostly wants to follow me around anyway. Like she goes off and explores a little bit, 
but if I go upstairs or downstairs or to a different room, she's never far behind. Like she's definitely paying attention to where I am. Just like her kids, such people, people, little people, kittens. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's push you back in for now. I, I know you want to go run around, but I got to go put stuff away first, and then maybe we can hang out. Okay, see, see if you get your kids back.
All right, well, I think that's mailbag, everybody. I'm going to end the archive here. I already put the little duck together. I don't know why I didn't bring him over here with me, but I, uh, I gave him a shot in the bedroom. It's very cute. I, I hear you. Okay. Okay, yep, noted. We got it. Message received. <laughs> so noisy. Thanks again, everybody.